everyone so welcome to the second part of the video we've been on so this is to aid you i know some people have done most of them this but i just hope this will help you to correct if there are mistakes to what you've done and then you learn more on it okay so basically so this part we'll be dealing with uh we've done georeferencing we've done downloading of images we've done everything that has to do with that side so here we're going to uh, be getting ready for digitizing so to before you start digitizing first you need to study um the area you have and what and what can be seen so here we can see building road trees uh did this capture a build dam no so uh though they are streams but then we cannot see them so basically here we have road we have uh other futures that but then let's stick to just road building uh trees and what again mm, i think that's all that we can see here okay uh ab gym is just a part of it discovered but not all of it okay so uh, and then we have ABU basketball being covered i think if you check where well, we should see ABU basketball court uh yeah ABU basketball court should be where this so you can add utilities like this basketball and any other um extra curriculum extra whatever so what you need to do first is to have a geo database so you go to our catalog to your folder connection so you now come down we have geom what four two four two one so you right click on it and then you go to new and we either use personal or file geo database personal geo database uses file between zero and two gig this one between zero to about i think it's almost all until all the space in your system cannot take it again but this one make use of uh, microsoft uh, excel no microsoft access sorry while this one uses your system space that is it uses your folder and then the space that's remaining on your system okay so this one is for large project this one is a small project for for what you're doing now this one should take care of it but in case maybe you do things and it full so just use this file your database for for safety uh then you rename it to uh, rename you rename it to a b u zaria the name of where you are working on so a b u zaria so you also right click and then you come to new this time around you go to future data set so it's going to pop out the com like this a prompt like this so you can put transportation now what uh this one does is that this one is a collection of future classes of the same kind of thing you know on that route we have major route we have minor route, we have express route we have footpaths so it's a collection and it collects all of them together so we'll still use our coordinate system don't forget now for those of you who are not seeing the coordinate system well we have two major coordinate system on arcgis we have geographic coordinate system gcs and projected coordinate system so we'll be using geographic coordinate system so if you are not seeing yours when you see these two you just click on projected then you come down to utm then you come down to wgs 1984 then you see northern hemisphere then you click then you looked for wgs 1984 utm zone 32 once you find it you right click and add to favorite mine is already on favorite so once you add it to favorite you will see it up here that's the reason why i'm not going to check those ones okay so uh you just say next next and finished now it's going to create a, 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 a 
future data set then you now right click again and you come down to new then future class so this future class now now root we want do so roots carries line future so you go next next then here now you just put type because we want to categorize the root okay so you now here now under the data type you use short integer then you finish okay once you click finish you're going to bring out the root feature class here so you delete it or you remove it not delete then you come back and then on the root now you right click then you go to property so under property you go to subtypes then under subtype field you you click on the drop down then you see type that one you did there so it's going to show you to classify them so you rename this to one and then you remove the whole of this and then you put major then you use underscore shift and dash so it's going to give an underscore underscore root road i say rule anyone so two minor shift dash underscore road that's for those who are using english keyboard the dash on your keyboard after you've passed zero you see a dash so you press shift and underscore and then the dash sorry and then the third one let's say minor root footpath part you put them together and no need for spacing them so once you're done like this you just press ok so once you press ok you drag this so just click on it and bring it like this so you're going to see the roots classify like this right but we're not done so you come back up here and then you create uh, another future data set future data set now let's name it utilities steam coordinate system and then we finished so on this utilities now we come to new future class so what did we say we're seeing we're seeing building you will not say buildings it's building because each building is digitized as an entity so it can be buildings okay so building you're not naming the building like to so which building is this so no need okay so uh you come back to the catalog and then under utilities again we have trees but it's tree and tree is what point future You're not also naming it. Okay, what again can we see? We can see basketball court, or we can just say peaches. You know how to spell peach? Peaches, if I'm not correct, to anyone. And let's use polygon, or should we use point? Anyone? Uh, but we can use point to depict those ones since anyone that if you feel like using polygon to digitize the whole of it fine you can use point to identify it fine so but then let's use point to identify this but then this time around we have to name it then we can just say name name of the name of the future then leave it as text uh what again i think that's all that's all then you finished so i think we are done with okay we have other futures like fountains gardens okay let's create gardens under utility we have gardens garden so let's still use points to identify the gardens 
then the name of it which of the garden is it love garden is it sculpture garden is it engineering garden you know all of them so i think for now let's say we are done so basically we have our future the building we have road we have trees peaches and garden so these are all we have that we've created for digitizing so you come and click on this one this black arrow here it's called a select element so the next is if you have not bring out your digi uh, your digitize um your editor you right click and then you bring your editor as i've explained previously so now you start editor just click on start editor now most people will not see this their create futures tool if you are not seeing it come to your editor the line on your editor see it here directly add this your editor tool come to the end it's create future just click on it to come so once it comes here you just unpin it so that it won't stand static it can be going if i just come like this it will just go out okay so we'll be starting off with the building okay now depending on the building you see depend on the tool you use for digitizing now look at this building very well now this building has four sides and it has an opening up here so how do we digitize this so we won't be, we won't be able to use polygon tool to do this so let's use red angle tool and see so once you click on the create future click on the building and then you click click on red angle so red angle this is how you do you click once then you drag to the last one you click then you release and then you draw it to the end that's one same thing with this you click you draw to this side and then you release and then you draw it carefully to be able to cover up your but i don't like it it's having i'm seeing this place living so let's use let's do it this way i think this has a projection but let's not bother about the production and let's just digitize it it's not going to work so let's remove it let's do this first okay so it has to go on a straight line so you see that this one is correct it just goes like that so we do this here and then let's do this here and see what it will bring okay so let's zoom this and see so we're going to have like this so like this okay and then we we'll have the same thing like this to like this we have the same thing like this to like this then we do the same thing here to like this so we have a remnant here which we we cover up like this then we have this place being left to itself so we do the same thing like this to cover everything up then we have this opening inside here that is just it alone so you just do like this so now we've covered the entire place but then you see that they are different different i still see a small thing here so let's cover it like this 
that's one joy of this tool okay so you can do multiple digitizing so now that we've done the boy see that it's having different different uh this thing uh shapes like it's not joined together so what you do now you come down to editor here and then okay first you click this arrow then you highlight everything here when all of them are highlighted you come down here and then you merge it yes you merge it so this is the building but i think there are still few points here that we need to correct which is this and this so to do that we just add those points again we just add them again so we just do like this we do like this i think is that all is there another one no so let's add them together so we just come again and merge it so the shape of this building has come out now <clears throat> we want to digitize this this one now still come on the I don't know whether they are together. So those who know this very building should tell us more about it inside a view. But if they are assumed to be together, then if they are not together, fine. But if they are together, we have to find a way of merging them. I don't know precisely which of the building is this. I'm trying not to leave any place out that's why i'm redoing this but it's already escaping this but then let's assume it's like that okay for purpose of showing you how to do it now if these buildings i don't think they are together I don't think they are actually together but if they are together you have to do something of this nature just watch me do But you can actually use uh, what do they call it this tool to do that but i'm trying to come up with the shape it's just me trying to do it my way but you, there are other tools you can use to get this done okay and then let's say i'll just do like this like this then do like this i'm just trying not to okay so with the advent that once i match them together it will give me one result that is the reason why the flexibility you can have using this very tool so then let's go and match them together i think this one is missing something but then let's i think we have to it didn't have anything so it did not match so let's select the two of them together okay it was not selected the previous time so let's match again now and see so basically though we did not compute here well but then you see that the shape of the structure come out as it is okay so you will take your time and digitize let's look at other building look at this one now
this one you can actually use polygon tool to do that just like this like this like this like this like this and like this but then whereas there are holes in between you will not be able to use polygon to to do that okay um just like this one now you will not be able to use polygon tool because at the end polygon tool will cover this place and then you can see some though you can actually use polygon tool to do the external but then you will not be able to get the interior so let's try this i'll do this for the last time i think time is already going fast so i want to just touch roads and other parts of it so let me do this building for the last time okay so this you just do like this just follow the shape of the building and you'll be fine so there is another production product uh, projection here so this is the place that has the hole this one same so the place with the hole it's not making sense right now yeah Okay, so we have another one. This building, I don't understand. How now? One of the PT also. Which kind of buildings with this one? With plenty ships. I'm seeing another. I, you know, the image is not that clear to see quite a lot of details but i'm doing my best to see the little i can so at the end of the day we may not get exactly the shape but we just try to get what we can out of it so i think i have gotten what i can so we select all of them like this then we come down here and then we say merge okay So, so this is for road so just follow your own depend on the shape of the building just do what i just do follow exactly what i just do now i think i recognize this i recognize this building this one is that one around senate site the new theater so but then just follow up and do the ones you can do then let me do roads now uh, okay you click on this and then you come down to root now which of the root do you want to digitize first because this is a major root so let's do the major root first the another thing you need is to you also from here but then you can't change it right now because if you want to do that you have to stop editing which you have to stop and then save yes if you do not save everything we've done will go now you have to change the color of the route from here before you do anything arterial which is more like street major route uh, let's use this for the major express let's just use it like that and then let's use this one for that that was level for major route for now since we are still digitizing then let's go back and start editing okay so uh root <clears throat> now when you are digitizing root depends on how because some of these things you're doing will be what you guys will do in your final year project so you take your time 
and do it well okay so just follow the middle of it don't do pass 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 just follow the way the road they go no to jump okay don't do it because it's just for the mark please do it so that you can learn now it is good to start with the express road the biggest road in your map because you'll be tying everything to it because one of the law of digitizing route is that all routes linked to one another so meaning all the major route will link to express and express all the minor will link to major footpath and all that and sometimes most of the time footpaths will not link so you just follow try follow the center because it's only one way you are doing okay so try and follow the center as much as possible and that's why i know you're not uh most of you are not conversant with it so but then try your best so the next is major route oh now the major route so this is also a major route into the university i think so we'll continue with it make sure you create a note here now you see if you check you are seeing a write up here when this note now there's a one called what there's a note when you come here is called h so these are h so when you stop at the h but when you come to this one now is vertex so you must meet here so once you meet here it means the root will not be what it is away uh, if you do not meet the root will have gaps in between them which you will not be able to use them for analysis okay and then just follow as much as possible when you are digitizing so there's a runabout here so make sure you stop at the edge of the runabout because you also digitize the runabout okay so you continue from here so this is also a major road in amadubelo university abi i think i'm also making mistakes. i'm trying to be faster but then i don't want us to reach the last time we do more well, it's like we go reach here oh sh okay but make sure now it's coming to north gate you stop it at it again then we bring that of north gate oh the north gate di didn't really meet with that one oh sh so no problem so you just continue from where you have it to this you're stopping at the edge of the uh, this thing the edge of the runabout because you also be digitizing runabout as well so we are following all the major routes first okay so this one also is also a major route So you follow up and digitize all your major route first before coming to other route okay so this is the one that is going to our fleece
so i think we've done justice to most of the major road so once you're done with major road you come back and select the new one and then you do not that this is really a minor road but you can add it as a minor road so that means this one is a major road then this we can add it as my minor road and then you digitize this one is not it can be a minor road because if you look at you see look at this this is the one going to phase two so it can't be a minor road okay so um well that is that and then let's touch trees you just come look at these trees here it's not necessary that you just pick so that you don't become rowdy just pick as it's supposed to be vegetation but then they are also building inside so you don't put it as don't make it too much just make it look nice okay uh, and then what next uh, we have peaches okay so where is that our basketball so now this time around once you drop on the pitch you're going to edit so you need to bring another tool out which is your attribute tool here it is you click on it to come also as i said it's already so you now name it what it's basket ball cord basketball ball cord okay so do I have another pitch around if there's another one i think we have a small portion of uh abu gym which is this this is abu gym uh we have okay the attribute okay let's say abu gym abu gym okay so i think i've touched virtually all the part then uh is there any other feature we okay gardens okay gardens 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 and there are quite a number of them so we have to carefully locate them uh, kashim we have quite a number of gardens so this is selfie garden so you rename it sell garden and where is love garden for those of my way they chop black market where is it? i can't see it sure. yeah over here so i think this is love garden if i'm not mistaken this is uh what's the name of that place this is this is center abby if i'm not mistaken this is center so this is love garden so we name it love uh, love garden so um i think this is it for it so let's remove the image no, I'm not done digitizing, but these are just the ones I have digitized. Okay, so um, you can stop editing because I won't be able to finish. You stop editing, and uh, you know, we've also not digitized the runabout. That is why these ones are like, let's digitize the runabout so that we link the roads. Okay, under major roads, then we we'll digitize. We we'll start with it. Look at look at how I'm doing it. You link it. You make sure you're make making them link to each other. That is one thing that is very important when digitizing road. So you see that it is me, but then we have some road this thing that goes in between them again so we can decide to classify this one as 
a minor road. Then we digitize this one along it. So, where is the other one? That's that of North Gate. So we we'll come back and change it back to Major Road, and do justice to it as we have done to the other one and same thing here now if you have digitized this one when you're bringing the the other one you will now tie it to this one which other one is left that we have not done this one okay I think this is it for it so let's remove the image we have them linked together like that and then we have quite a few futures trees and all that now the next thing is uh let me see if i can use four minutes to produce the map okay uh now the next thing we need to cut a portion out we need to cut a portion out of this place uh, i need to end the video to continue the news one because it's going to be too long so guys be patient with me let me end the video it's after seven minutes so.